Friends, when I was in college, one of my favorite artists was Andre Crouch, and he sang a song, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other, Jesus is the way. And we know that. We see that every day in our ministry that Jesus transforms lives. In fact, I think of going out to a lake, throwing a big rock into the lake and all these ripples go out. And I think of a mom whose child is transformed because the mom came to know Jesus and now that child will have a different life. I think of the man that maybe left his family and has come back together, restored his family because he's come to know Jesus. And now the next generation is introduced to Christ and raises a godly heritage. You know, friends, we're here today because of the ripples of Christ and the difference that he makes in the world in which we live. Yet I think there's something that's really challenging that we oftentimes forget. We forget that Jesus in his ministry always invited people to come unto him. It was always an invitation, come unto me. He invited people, he never forced himself onto anyone. And sometimes we can fall into that role of thinking that it's our responsibility, it's us that changes lives. All we can do is extend the invitation. When Jesus was hanging on the cross, there were two individuals next to him, one who received and one who rejected. And so often we forget that even Jesus himself didn't save everyone because he gave us this thing called the free will. So our role is simply to extend the love and the message of the gospel so that people, when they're invited, will respond. But remember, we're not the Savior, we can't become the Savior, and not everyone is going to respond. So thank you for partnering with us, allowing us to open our doors to minister to those that need Jesus. And I hope, friends, if there's those that you have a burden for and a passion, let Jesus do the work, and ultimately, each individual has to respond.